Hello friends and family, I'm Kendra, and in this video I am sharing a little bit more about my family and what we are up to this summer. A lot of people on my channel don't know me, which is exciting. I thought this was just going to be for my friends and family. But I am Kendra, and I'm a mom of three. Here's the little one. He's a little bit fussy right now. Uh, so I have three kids. I have a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and then this is Sullivan. He is my two-month-old. And we are spending the summer getting outside learning. Now, it can be a challenge, especially with this wiggly one. Um, but I just want to show you a little bit about what we were up to this week. Obviously, most of the videos on this channel our educational science activities but if you want to know more about who I am about my family then keep watching this video I'm going to show you what we are up to so this week I gave my boys haircuts and here in Wisconsin usually we have to do the haircuts inside but now that it is finally warm enough we were able to keep going with the theme and we did our haircuts outside so take a look As soon as Shane started growing hair, I decided that I was going to learn how. So I used YouTube to help me learn, and it was a little bit of a learning process. He had a couple of haircuts that weren't great, but that's okay. So now it's going pretty well, and there's always a little bit of jaggedy edges on the front because I am not a stylist. I have no training, but overall it's going really well. Um, so the clippers that I use were pretty cheap. I think they were like 30 or $40. Um, and considering how much we use them, it was really easy. So I will include a link to the ones that I use that work really well. I like that they have different colors because then the boys can kind of help pick. They can say, I want red haircut today. I want blue. I want purple. And that's the different length of their hair. And they can choose the color, which makes them a little bit happier to uh, to enjoy the haircut. Uh, even though it's not their favorite thing. So yes, I'll include a link below to the ones that I use. What it feels like? Hmm. Remember? It tickles a little bit, but it doesn't hurt, right? Hmm. All right, hmm. scooch back. Look down. It really is a sensory experience for the kids. So I know a lot of parents are always looking for those opportunities um, to have sensory activities. And I tell you, getting a haircut is about as sensory intense as you can get. You know, with those clippers, it's buzzing against their head and then the hairs are falling down and they're kind of itchy. It's that noise, it's that feeling. So it is a good sensory experience for them, but they do not always enjoy it. So we definitely had a couple of times when I was cutting their hair today where they were fighting me and they kind of ran away. They didn't want to do it anymore, but we did get through. It really didn't take too long, um, but sometimes we do need to take a break uh, partway through and then continue. And <laughs> full honesty, I mean, I bribe them with suckers. If they do well, they get a sucker or maybe an extra show. We try to limit our screen time. We try to do hardly any on weekdays, but if they do well with their haircuts, they get an extra little Mickey or something. So, so sometimes it does take some bribery to get them to sit for the haircut, but we got through it and we are good to go for at least one more month until it grows out again. Say, look, I got a haircut. Look, I got a haircut. Good. Can you show me your ears? Your ears? Look at handsome boys. <laughs> I can't see you if you're that close. Yay! Wait a minute. That was the big thing that we did this week. You know, it's summer. We're doing our science activities. We're taking things slow. Um, we're really enjoying it. Uh, but then we did keep watering our garden. If you haven't seen our garden Memorial Day video, take a look. I'll show you what we did with our garden. We've just been watering it. Um, it looks like the tree 
is growing over it now, but our garden's hidden right over there next to our playset, and it's going really well. Um, so yeah. As always, if you want to join us every single week for our Simple STEM outdoor educational activities, or if you want to see my little family weekly updates, then please hit subscribe, like the video, let me know if you're someone new that I haven't met before, I would love for you to comment below. Say hello, let me know your name, and if you have kids at home or if you're a teacher using STEM in the classroom.